Hi, this is Greg with Mineral Springs Tilapia. Um, we are going to do a water change on this big system. There's about five to six hundred gallons in this system. And I will show you how we do it. And this, this video will be kind of spliced together in little sections because it takes quite a bit of time to do this. What we're going to do is we're going to close off all these tanks down at these exits of, of these valves. <clears throat> and then we're going to start over here in the solids filter. We'll drain the solids filter and then what we'll do is we'll open the tanks one at a time and flush these lines out of any debris that might be gathering up in these lines. Uh, and we'll, we'll do all our siphoning of the water from the solids filter right there. We won't be messing with the with the uh, biological filter. All we'll do is cap off this little drain here that's pouring into the sump. We'll cap that off to keep everything kind of at a static position. And we'll drain the water from the from each tank individually until we get the water level down where we want it. Then we'll siphon it out of the solids filter and then we'll pump it back into the tanks through the sump over here. So I'll take another video in a little bit. Thanks. As you can see in these tanks, it's a little hard to see in there now, but I've got a couple thousand one to two inch fry. And there's a couple thousand three quarter to one and a half inch fry. And then I've got several hundred larger fish in this tank. I use these as breeder stock and I will sell some of them if, if I get a call for them. Um, but these are the fish that I have in stock right now as well as these guys in this aquarium and the guys in this aquarium and the guys in this aquarium. So I've got several thousand fish um, and of course I got this breeder colony and then I've got another breeder colony in, in the house that I'm working on getting set up so I can get those sold. Okay, Jordan is uh, siphoning the bottom of this solids filter. You probably can't see down in there because it's a dark blue system, but there's a lot of suspended and and other solids that are on the bottom and there's a little bit actually on the top so we've got to clean our filter pads and get this all cleaned out and then we'll I'll show you when we get ready to flush the system out okay Jordan's getting ready to open the valve on the highest tank and when he does that what will happen is it'll flush the line and you'll be able to watch it come pouring out on this end so he's got the valve open and you can see the water has started pouring out what that does that flushes the pipe from the from the farthest end doesn't look like there's a lot of debris in it um, so I think we're going to be good we'll fill this back up we'll shut that off then we'll do it again out of each tank we'll do it two times and this will hold this system here will hold about 30 gallons in the uh, solids filter so we're basically draining 60 gallons out of each tank plus 30 gallons out of the filter for the first time out of the solid filter the first time so that's about how much water we take out of the system and then that's how much we'll replace okay you can see we compared to the other tanks these all run about the same level I'll point at the back there and you can see how we've got way more water in this one than we do in this one and of course we still have a lot in the end one yet so the flush on this one is just about done we'll close this one off we'll open the second one and we'll flush that line from that point to the solids filter and we'll get the amount of water out of that system that we want to change in there all right as you can see we've got all of these tanks drained down about halfway probably about 60 gallons out of each one and maybe a little about 30 gallons out of the swirl filter and what we do is we just add a little bit of aqua life here 
to the water about a tablespoon fill this up the sump holds about 40 gallons we fill it up and then we use the pump to pump it back into the system okay all the big tanks are refilled the solid filters clean it's flowing through into the sump the sump is filling a little bit but it should find its level here in just a little while and we should be done with the water change we changed about 240 280 gallons somewhere around there the whole system holds about 550 gallons so it's about a two hour process uh, we've got a couple ideas to trim down the time on changing water in this system but we'll update you if we do that thanks for watching subscribe to my channel and we'll see you on the next video